Kamenkov is unique in the combat world for a number of reasons. But one of the more remarkable is that he'd been trained by his father his whole life. Elite fighting families are not uncommon in combat. We've seen boxing brothers like Vitaly and Vladimir Klitschko, and Jamal and Jamel Trella, as well as the MMA bruisers Nick and Nate Diaz. And we've seen plenty of fathers whose children have gone on to be champions, like Julio Cesar Chavez Sr. and Jr., Muhammad Ali and his daughter Layla, and Chris Eubank Sr. and Jr. But these were fighters who followed in their footsteps. They weren't trained by them. He has been guided. I haven't trained him. He can't be trained. He needs to be left alone. All I can do is try and harness him, which is what you, the public, the press, the media, the boxing fans have seen in the past. Much less common is a fighter like Khabib becoming an elite world champion thanks to the tutelage of a parent, particularly in MMA. Ronda Rousey was raised from birth to be a judoka champion by her mother, Anne Maria DeMars the first American in history to win a gold medal at the World Judo Championships. But while Damaris taught Ronda everything she knows about Judo, it was her boxing coach Edmund Taverdi who is widely considered responsible for Rowdy's MMA glory. In some months, Damaris. One championship's Lee family is more akin to Nurmagomedov's, except the championship brother and sister pair of Angela and Christian were trained by not just one parent, but two. I was sort of born into it. My parents were martial arts instructors before I was born, and then um, I grew up on the mats. My dad, he wanted to teach us, you know, self-defense, how to defend ourselves, and that's how we started learning mixed martial arts. Their father, Ken, is a black belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, Pancration, and Taekwondo. Their mother, Jules, is a black belt and two-time Canadian silver medalist in Taekwondo. How could the children not grow up in the gym? We're really, really close. I can't even, like, stress it. We're just a really tight family, and, like, that's something that was really stressed to us growing up. It's all I've ever known, and I love it. In the world of MMA, there aren't too many families like the Lees or the Nurmagomedovs not yet at least. But in boxing, the parent-child trainer trainee relationship is much more common. For starters, look at the amateur prodigy Vessel Lomachenko and his father Anatoly. When I was a child, around six years old, I asked my dad a question. Which is better to win, a world championship belt or the Olympic Games? And he answered, it's the Olympic Games for sure. So I told him that I was going to be an Olympic champion, and I started training. Under the tutelage of Papachenko, Vessel won two Olympic gold medals before becoming the fastest man in history to win professional world titles in three weight divisions. But like always, my I, I try to show my best skill, my best style. I, I, I try to show my my boxing for my fans, and uh, I do this very, very, uh, very nice. I do this very nice. Thanks to his relationship with his father, Vessel is considered one of the best pound for pound fighters of the modern era. Even after his loss to the youngest ever four belt undisputed champion, Teofimo Lopez, who was coincidentally also trained by his own father. Teofimo Sr. For both Loma and Lopez, their fathers also look out for the well-being of their sons, as proven by Lopez turning to his dad when being lined up to face Loma Chico during the pandemic. I understand where they're coming from, and I know that they mean well, they don't mean harms, and, and, and anything that they're doing. It's just that, yeah, it could be too soon. But I told, I spoke with Bob Aram, the CEO. Me and my father, we had a conference call with him and we just spoke to him about, hey, uh, you know, I'm not going to um, fight without, you know, seeing what's really going on. I want to make sure that no fighter is getting infected. You know, no fighter is getting the coronavirus and everything. Luckily for Lopez and Lola, but Lopez in particular, their fathers made the right decision, and the fight went ahead. Making good decisions isn't necessary for father trainers, as exemplified by the multi-weight champion Danny Garcia's father. 
Angel Garcia has a reputation for causing politically incorrect trouble wherever he goes. Well, we'll see what happens. Well, anyway, let the player talk. Man, show a bit of respect, man. Show, show, show a bit of respect, man. Show, show a bit of... Now, listen, the thing is, the thing... Like my dad said, it's a fight. I don't have to be nice to him. He don't have to be nice to me. It's a fight. At the end of the day, we're going to be in there trying to kill each other. What's, um... I don't see nothing wrong with it. Speaking of questionable actions, Floyd Mayweather Jr. was trained by his father, Floyd Sr., as well as Sr.'s brother, Roger having whichever elder crew wasn't in jail or on his bad side in his corner. It feels extremely good to be working with my father and to be working with my, my uncle Roger. We have a great chemistry, you know, uh, working together, and it feels good. That might be what Junior says, but theirs was one of the most complicated family relationships in boxing history. In fact, the relationship got so bitter at times that Floyd Sr. trained multiple A-list opponents like Ricky Hatton and even Oscar De La Hoya in an effort to beat his own son. Sr. never quite succeeded though, and Junior became one of the few champs to retire undefeated. Amazingly, however, the most successful father-son trainer-student duo in boxing history was Joe Calzaghe and his father Enzo, without question. Despite having no prior experience as a trainer, Enzo mentored his son for his first pro fight, and together they finished with a record of 46 and 0, with lineal titles in two divisions and the most defenses in super middleweight history with 20 straight. And it wasn't just Joe who could get firing. Enzo didn't mind getting up in the faces of some of the greatest fighters in history, including Roy Jones Jr. and Bernard Hopkins. Yeah, it's cool, man. I knew he'd get. I knew he'd get excited. I could see him. I could see his leg going under the table, man. He's Italian, isn't he? So, what can you expect, man? He's like, he's like every day of the week. So uh, I was expecting him to blow off it, like. So uh, <laughs> I think he spooked uh, Hopkins a bit there. I think Hopkins backed down a bit there, which is which is quite good to see, you know. But uh, I wasn't surprised by that. An unbeaten champion, trained for his entire career by his father, Joe and Enzo. Khabib and Abdulmanan, the closest and most successful parent-child teams in combat history. Thanks for watching, and remember, if you want more fight sports in your life, just hit the subscribe button.